Welcome to the ESI Africa studio. Today I have with me two gentlemen from ESCOM Rotec Industries, uh, Amesh uh, Singh as well as Wiseman Musakiwa. That's right. Uh, thank you for joining me. No, the pleasure. Um, we were talking earlier and uh, you were explaining to me that you concentrate on condition monitoring, uh, whereas you look at logistics and transport. So my first question, um, Amesh, is about Logist, uh, sorry, about condition monitoring. What is it that somebody needs to know that is new in the market? So what's new in the market? I'm not sure, uh, based on, on, on what we're doing. But uh, we use a lot of uh, condition monitoring, uh, or condition assessment techniques. So what's new would be what we've developed ourselves. So we've developed an advancement in thermal sensitivity testing. So that's the ability for us to be able to do thermal mapping of the surface of a generator rotor. So in terms of the industry, I'm not sure, but in terms of ERI, we have developed some technology and we feel it's uh, some good technology that we'll be able to use to benefit our customers going forward. Right, so who would use thermal mapping? We would use it because it's, a, it's for a specific purpose. So the reason why we've developed it on our own is because we have the facility where we do this testing. So not many people would do this. So we actually rely on our own ingenuity to be able to do uh, what we need to ensure reliability of our generator voltage. Right, and so this then uh, extends the lifespan of the assets? Yes, yeah, so, so we would actually release an asset from our workshop that's more reliable. We know that it would work and it would actually perform the way we want it to perform. Right, fantastic. And so Wiseman, looking at logistics and, and transport, I think that that is an area that everybody needs. Uh, so give me an example of who would uh, utilize your services? Look, with, with any uh, business, transportation is key and hard to any economy. Um, we are basically within the energy sector, moving all your super abnormal equipment. We are also in mining, we are also in construction. So therefore, anyone within that industry, you know, would find us valuable or a valuable partner in assisting with all their transportation needs. So give me an example of, uh, say for instance, a utility outside of South Africa that would utilize your transport services. We, we've actually done a couple of projects with um, EDI uh, Mozambique. We can actually work through ZESA, which is in Zimbabwe, and uh, currently the Botswana utility as well, um, looking right through up uh, into Uganda. Yeah, those can actually you know, work with us. Um, including all your international uh, uh, subsidiaries as we have the equipment to be able to support the framework. In terms of transportation, uh, what are the things that people need to know uh, that they would need to give you information so that you could tell them what is the best transportation service that you can offer? And what is that information that you're looking for? Look, that's a, a very good question and uh, uh, obviously in particular to what we do, we are a specialized uh, uh, sphere that we operate in and uh, what's key out of that is one is to give us in terms of the size of the load uh, being the height, the width, the weight um, this actually assists us to determine what sort of equipment to actually utilize for the specific project we, we, we look at the customer need and therefore assign the correct equipment as per the customer need and like you say um, the customer needs to relatively give you specifications to be able to, to give them the right uh, product at the end of the day and service. So that communication is very important. Right? I want to come back to condition monitoring. And you, you said that there's nothing really new in the market at the moment. But looking forward, 10 years from now, what is condition monitoring going to look like? I think 10 years from now, condition monitoring would be more... Um, knowledge-based so by a condition monitoring system would actually be able to tell you what's wrong so you wouldn't need much human intervention so this thing about artificial intelligence and so on so condition monitoring should be moving in that space it depends whether it's offline or online but I'd expect the online stuff would probably be like that in 10 years time we hope it would be like that so let's see if that uh, does materialize we're looking forward for something like that fantastic and Wiseman lastly uh, electric vehicles do you think this is something that is going to enter your market? Um, I don't see it happening anytime soon, though if you look at the change in technology now, 
there has been a, a lot more of what you call SPMTs, which are remote controlled, yes, battery power packs with assisted by heavy duty engines. But um, I, I foresee it happening, you know. The environment is changing, new technologies are becoming acceptable, and uh, everyone is moving towards green. And uh, clearly within the same space, we also have a responsibility for the future uh, to ensure that it becomes a sustainable environment directly linked to, to, to nature as well. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for coming to our ESI Africa studio. Thank you for watching. I'm Nicolette pombe editor of ESI Africa, broadcasting from the African Utility Week studio.